In the past, SpaceX had plans to transform two oil rigs into offshore launch platforms for their Starship vehicle. However, earlier this year, for undisclosed reasons, SpaceX abandoned this endeavor. But recently, at the International Astronautical Congress in 2023, SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, made a surprising announcement. He suggested that if they were to increase their launch frequency to possibly multiple launches a day, they might need to consider using ocean-based launch platforms. This statement was unexpected coming from Musk, leaving many wondering when they might see Starship launches from the ocean. In the current era, Elon Musk has revealed a new concept for the launch platform of the Starship, which is quite remarkable. The Starship project is a result of Musk's ambitious goal to colonize Mars. Achieving this mission involves overcoming numerous challenges, including the initial journey to Mars, transporting supplies, constructing the first Martian base, and utilizing the planet's resources. All these challenges represent crucial milestones for the success of the colonization plan. SpaceX is currently making significant progress in the production of powerful rockets, a fundamental step in the process. At the IAC 2023, Elon Musk not only shared exciting insights into SpaceX's activities, but also hinted at the idea of an ocean-based launch platform for the Starship. He mentioned the possibility of conducting launches from a specially designed platform on the ocean, especially if they needed to carry out thousands of launches per year. This announcement generated significant interest and curiosity among those following SpaceX's developments. Later, a tweet from a reliable source clarified that SpaceX's objective was to achieve the launch of over a thousand starships annually, translating to three to four starship launches each day. However, their existing land-based launch facility couldn't accommodate this high launch frequency. This predicament has led Elon Musk to contemplate the development of ocean-based launch platforms. Many are curious about the need for such a high volume of rocket launches. The rationale behind this ambitious launch schedule is SpaceX's goal of transporting a million tons to Mars every year, an exceedingly ambitious target. This is especially challenging when you consider that the Falcon 9 can currently only manage between 1,500 and 1,600 tons into orbit annually. Achieving this goal is vital for SpaceX's mission to establish a thriving civilization on Mars. SpaceX's current CEO, Gwynne Shotwell, has made even bolder statements in the past, suggesting that SpaceX should operate like an aircraft to facilitate the colonization of Mars. Their plans involve launching dozens, or even hundreds, of starships daily. To manage such a substantial fleet, she proposed constructing multiple sea-based platforms. Clearly, SpaceX has held long-standing aspirations to launch starships from ocean platforms, and the advantages are evident. This approach not only permits a higher volume of launches but also enhances safety. Launching in the open ocean mitigates the impact of noise, dust, smoke, and debris on nearby structures and people, thereby reducing potential hazards. In the event of an unforeseen incident, such as the maiden orbital test flight, the notion of utilizing sea-based launch platforms has been under consideration. This concept is not entirely novel. Back in July 2020, SpaceX acquired two oil rigs, named Phobos and Dios after the moons of Mars, with the intention of converting them into innovative launch platforms. Nevertheless, progress on this transformation project came to a halt in early 2022, and by February 2023, SpaceX's leadership made the decision to discard the idea of constructing ocean-based launch platforms. This choice was driven by several drawbacks associated with this system, which was not their primary focus at the time. The central issue revolved around the fact that launching the Starship from such a platform would result in the intense heat generated by the 33 Raptor engines, causing seawater to boil. This would not only affect the platform's buoyancy but also pose a serious threat to marine life, potentially leading to their demise. Furthermore, it would result in substantial environmental damage and harm to the ocean ecosystem. Moving forward, SpaceX faces additional challenges related to transportation and fuel supply. They will need suitable vehicles to transport the Starship between the mainland and the launch platforms, as well as for returning it for repairs after launch, which presents a lengthy and risky journey. Additionally, establishing a fuel supply system is a complex task, with two potential methods in consideration. Transporting fuel tanks or constructing a pipeline system connecting the tank farm. 
However, each of these options comes with its own set of challenges. While it's possible to overcome these issues with more time and effort, SpaceX's current focus is on developing land-based systems at their facilities in Boca Chica. They are actively conducting Starship tests in this area, which has shifted their attention away from the Ocean Launch Platform project. Currently, Starship launches are happening at Star Base in Boca Chica, Texas, which also serves as the sole orbital launch system for Starship. Although the current launch schedule is not excessively congested, the future is likely to bring a significant increase in launch frequency. This poses a substantial challenge for a single launch system to handle all the missions. Consequently, there will be a need to construct numerous new launch systems. However, building a launch system is a complex endeavor that can take months or even up to a year and it comes with a host of associated challenges. SpaceX has expressed its intentions to launch Starship from NASA's launch complex in Florida. Still, this choice is not without its obstacles. The deployment of Starship could disrupt the launch schedules of other vehicles and companies, including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, which regularly undertake missions to the International Space Station and new space stations. Lunar missions involving other spacecraft could also be impacted. Furthermore, terrestrial Starship launches come with their own set of risks. For instance, the previous Starship S-24 and Booster 7 flight left a significant crater beneath the orbital launch mount and scattered concrete debris that damaged fuel tanks. The ship was intentionally destroyed over oceanic airspace, but if a similar event were to occur on land, the consequences could be catastrophic. It's evident that both NASA and SpaceX need to carefully consider these challenges and potential disruptions as they move forward. In such circumstances, other companies would prefer to avoid such scenarios near their launch sites. The most suitable solution, in this case, seems to be the Ocean Launch Platform. It can address the limitations of terrestrial launch systems, ensuring the future launch schedule of the Starship. This approach can share the workload with the Starbase launch system, ensuring launch safety without causing disruptions to other vehicles. However, all these plans will have to be temporarily halted until the completion of the second orbital test flight, which is currently SpaceX's primary focus. It remains uncertain whether Musk's proposed approach will come to fruition, but his disclosure could potentially signify positive progress for the system. If the upcoming flight proves successful, it could significantly expedite Starship's production and launch process. During this period, SpaceX might take more concrete steps toward implementing the Ocean Launch Platform plan. It would be remarkable to witness the emergence of multiple launch sites in the middle of the ocean and see hundreds of Starships taking off from those locations on a daily basis in the future. In conclusion, Elon Musk's recent announcement about the potential construction of ocean-based launch platforms for SpaceX's Starship has generated excitement and speculation. With the goal of launching thousands of Starships annually and transporting 1 million tons to Mars each year, SpaceX acknowledges the necessity for increased launch capacity. While previous attempts to convert oil rigs into launch platforms pose challenges, the concept of ocean-based platforms offers various advantages, including enhanced safety and reduced environmental impact. Lastly, in your opinion, do you think SpaceX will build offshore Starship launch pads in the future? That concludes today's video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and if you found our content engaging, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell and subscribe to our channel, Elon Mascara, to stay informed about our future releases. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, take care and farewell. Rocket elevate your YouTube experience with our Patreon. Rocket, ready to take your YouTube journey to the next level. We've just launched our Patreon, and you're invited to join the inner circle of our community. Why become a Patreon member? Sparkles ad free bliss, say goodbye to those annoying ads. As a Patreon supporter, you get uninterrupted access to all of our videos. Enjoy a seamless, ad-free viewing experience. Tear off calendar exclusive weekly content, we're all about giving back to our biggest supporters. Every week, we're creating something special just for our Patreon members. Expect exclusive content that's crafted with you in mind. Speaking head have a say, your opinion matters. Influence the content we produce. Suggest, vote, and help shape the topics that make it to our channel. It's your chance to be a part of the creative process. Clapper board be first in line, don't wait in line. Get early access to some of our latest YouTube videos. Be among the first to enjoy our content before anyone else. By joining our Patreon family, you're not just a viewer, you're an active participant in our content creation journey.
Your support helps us create better, more engaging videos, and we offer you an exclusive peek behind the scenes. Ready to dive into a world of ad-free, exclusive content and become a vital part of our channel's future? Join us on Patreon today. Link in the description to the video.